You're calling from a 610 area code. Who are you? Where are you calling from? Hey, Mike. Hey. Mike from Pennsylvania. How are hey, you? Hey, what's up, brother? How are you doing? Hey, man. I just want to compliment the sweater. Keep rocking it. It's uh, awesome. Uh, also, I was wondering if you saw the uh, Molly Ball article in the Atlantic. I did not. Brendan saw it. On, Tell me about it. Yeah, I got discussed on Chapo this week. And if you could on get what? her on the show, I think Sam, it was on some podcast. Yeah, I don't, I'm not familiar podcast. with that. I know about El Chapo. He's cool. Yeah, yeah I was on Chapo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it basically, Molly Ball went around with this centrist group third way. Right. As they did this, like, what she characterized as a safari in Trump land. <laughs> and Sounds like the worst of all basic. worlds. A safari she, in Trump. Land. That's a great metaphor. That she, sounds very Molly she Ball. She totally tears apart the third way people. It's great. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and they go to, you know, there's one of these scenes that was really iconic to me and kind of explained why we're fucked. If you want my idea for why we can't win any elections, <laughs> it's, they yeah. talk to these uh, six union guys and. They're explaining exactly how Scott Walker has taken over Wisconsin and it's just showing minimum wage and women's rights and right. how they uh, have, Republicans have leveraged the gun issue. And <laughs> the third way people's responses is, I'm depressed. They're really partisan. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> it is. Right. Unfucking believable. If you can get her on the show and talk to her, I would love. Well, you know, you always got to remember that people. And actually, it's funny. I have a lot of insight in Third Way because one of my producers on the other show, David Slavic, worked there. And like, oh god, it's just a whole profile of people who it's like the only reason that they exist and you even know who they are is purely because of money. Like, there's one like. There is genuine racist and xenophobic politics in this country that exists independently of funding. But the whole like continuum of third way to Bloombergism, the 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 money and the influence is directly like it's it's there's a perfect disproportionate relationship between the money and power influence and any appetite that anybody in the normal world has for it. It's like the, and, the idea that yeah. these people are that stupid that they go to Wisconsin and they think they're going to run into a normal person who's like, you know, I just wish Trump could get on board with transgender rights. But I really wish that more people would get serious about shipping my job overseas because I know that that's best for the economy. I don't know how. St- I mean, there's one, these people are breathtaking. There's it's a one, cult. Anecdote, one anecdote in the article where she's talking to these curmudgeonly farmers, is how she, and Molly Ball puts it. And the guy goes. Yeah, I don't think women should work outside the home. <laughs> and, like, just these super retro and parasites are living off the government, and, you know, we've got to purge it. And it's, like, true fascist rhetoric. Right. And then, you know, they write this report at the end, and it basically just agrees with everything they said before they set out. So they yep. basically listen to nothing, and and it is just, and this is why we lose. Like the union guys, you know, these are the kind of guys that I love that actually do real campaigning and real work. Right. Are telling you exactly why union members are voting for Republicans. They're telling you exactly what we need as far as candidates go. And they just get ignored. Right. <laughs> because these people are paid six figures. Nira Tanda gets $400,000 to be president of the Center for American Progress so she can tell everyone how great Macron is. Mm. while her buddy Jim Messina works for Theresa May. And that tells you who we are. Right. And that's why the Democratic Party sucks right now. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, you should check that out. I'll check it out. uh, If everyone can give an opinion on the sweater in the the room, that'd be great. What is this? The sweater, I think this is like maybe the most boring (laughs) sartorial choice I've ever made. People notice it from last night. What? Oh, oh. Well, I was out last night. (laughs) Didn't get a chance to change. All right? Let me be clear. I was listening to Beyonce. I was on the microbe train. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. 
YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.